my name is Laura Garrison. I'm a teacher in Burke County. Um, I, my background is in middle school and elementary school, and I'm starting the, in the coming year in high school in the OCS program. So last year I started looking at an OCS program, and in that process of looking at the program, I had um, some new neighbors move in next door to me, and um, the neighbor's daughter, her name's Casey. They were she is part of the or the UP program. Um, and upon graduation, um, she was working with a job coach from Western um, to help her out with a job. And so her um, parents um, met with me about um, helping her in that way. And so, um, you know, I told them I would be glad to do it and didn't really know how all the things were going to be intertwined at that point in time. I would call on the day of that we were going to go out for whatever job search purposes, um, you know, that we had for that day. And I would start on my list and I would um, call down my list and I would just try to find the decision maker or the, you know, the right person and just briefly let, let them know who I was, that I was working with um, a young lady who had completed a two-year program at Western Carolina University and, um, you know, was trying to help her um, in finding a job in, you know, the specific area. And if they, you know, talked to me a little bit more, I would let them know that, you know, she was an individual with an intellectual disability. These are the type of jobs that we're looking for. And um, some people, you know, probably just talked to me out of, you know, they were being kind and, you know, letting me know what opportunities were there. And other people would say, oh, well, this is what we're looking for, or we don't have anything right now. You're welcome to bring by a resume. So that's what we did. We um, pounded the pavement. We took resumes here and there. And um, the, the place that I called um, was a Montessori school. The directress there um, indicated that um, she really likes working with individuals who have intellectual disabilities. So, um, you know, we felt like we were going into it full disclosure that, that she knew you know specifically what um, Casey's needs were and it just took off from there so we went and met with um, the directress and she um, laid out what steps we needed to take um, so we had to um, do a, a background check and then um, she had to enroll in a program to obtain her cred credentials for um, daycare and so she works part-time um, in the middle of the day. Her class is, um, I think, 18 to 24 months, and um, she's able to go in while the teacher or the teacher assistant, she's a teacher assistant, and she goes in while they're taking their breaks and lunch during that four-hour window, and she goes in, she helps them prepare for lunch, um, she helps to serve lunch and helps, you know, to facilitate that process, and then after lunch, um, she helps clean up, get them laid down for their nap, um, and then she has a list that she works from while they're napping. So it's really neat to watch um, her enthusiasm and excitement. What do you think that you could do from ninth through 12th grade for your students to help prepare them for a success story like this? I think um, that setting a high expectation for all students is very important. Um, students are going to be able to do what we instill in them and what we what we show them is possible to do. So if we you know if we set the bar as high as you know well if you make it out of high school and you know you might be able to do this or you might you know you'll probably um, just get disability and that's just what you'll do then that's what they're going to do and if that's their best then that's a good thing. So. One student may, you know, graduate with a high school diploma and get a job at, um, you know, the bakery, and that is their 100% best, and we are super proud of that. They're supporting themselves. Um, and another student may go on and take classes at the community college and, you know, obtain their credentials and work at a daycare. Another student, you know, may go to a two-year program. And so I think setting that bar um, as high as possible. Do you have any specific strategies in mind to help? students self-determination and to get them into that place where they can actually dream. Mm -hmm. um, I think just opening up opportunities to students, bringing in people um, who have done um, things that um, maybe they've never dreamed of or thought of before. I think that's important, just, just exposing them um, to new things and new opportunities and possibilities. And that's what our job is, right? I mean, just letting them know what's out there.